this run here predominantly through my own lived experience um, and I changed my life because somebody put a hand out to me, helped me, showed me a way um, and ever since that's what I've been doing. I don't even know if I went to third year, I don't think I did and that was because of stuff that was going on at home, um, chaos, trauma, all that sort of stuff and I never had anywhere like heavy sound you know and it was very much like you, you know social workers, children's panels, you need to go to school and then it was college and, and I just wasn't equipped for any of that at all, you know? And I think for heavy sound, it recognises that. It recognises that actually school sometimes doesn't work for some kids. It just doesn't, you know? As a teacher, I've struggled to follow anything other than what fit for the young person and the same as a psychologist. I just love young people and I particularly have a soft spot for young people that find it really hard to fit in and don't have a sense of belonging uh, in a system that really doesn't cater for them. What a big opportunity, like a very big opportunity that I'm going to keep and I'm going to like, take home with both hands. I've learned about myself that I've got a lot more potential than I thought I did. A lot more confidence. That confidence is my key word in this whole project. I've done a project before with for the council, uh, like an after-school project, and I really enjoyed it. And then I saw the post here for the music practitioner, so um, I became, uh, yeah, basically music practitioner. And initially, we were just going out to schools and just working with sort of kids that wouldn't engage that well in school, uh, and just did sort of albums with them, basically tracks and stuff like that. We use music as a tool for engagement. We focus on music production, creative writing, hip hop, and we work with innovative technologies, software, hardware, they're working with computers, they're working with digital and electronic media. They're using real physical hardware, which will aid them in creating their own music, their own sounds, their own beats, and for a lot of the people that we work with that have never had these opportunities before. We can provide opportunities in learning more about music and other creative arts, but also as a tool for, for, for people to learn more about themselves and provide them with life skills that aid their personal development. Having a presence at Fringe by the Sea, so we've been involved with them the last two years, meeting loads of nice folks and being part of something bigger. For some folk, you're planting a seed. Um, yeah, so it's a mixture where some folk you can, like even just this morning when you see someone engaging in something and a smile on their face when they've not had a smile on their face for a while. Seeing folk go out on, uh, go out on their bikes has been a real, like, that's been a real highlight. Uh, folk that were very sort of hesitant and reluctant, you know, folk overcoming those personal, you know, it's personal development, seeing people give things a shot. We need to be having more there and we need to have it in the evenings as well. You know, somewhere a safe space for young people to come and to be working differently because most of us know that school isn't for everyone and they don't they provide the same options as, as heavy sound do. <laughs> One of the highlights is seeing the, the impact that it has on some of the young people. You know, some of the young people I'm supporting. The changes I've seen over the last few while have been amazing. <laughs> uh, and the reason I, I do this job is through my own lived experience, through mental health addictions and the justice system. Uh, I served time in Edinburgh prison, uh, and now I go back in there to, to offer hope and to support other people. I mean, we work with a fantastically amazing team here. Um, I mean, the young people are right as well. Uh, but moments, isn't it? It's always moments. Uh, you could go through days and weeks, uh, the same, and then you have those wee moments of light uh, that come through and they're the ones that keep it worth it. 
a wee girl that I've worked with quite closely who I, I wrote a song with her and she taught me a wee bit of piano and the way she's really like talented in the way that she can just make up rhymes whether it's rapping or singing and we were just having a conversation and she constructed the song and we just tweaked it and then sung it together that showed me like a whole other side of music and just like I was just really proud of her and how she can conform that. Through everything I've been through, everything I've seen, should I turn back now? No, I wouldn't if I could. Things turned around, yeah, things are all good. Having better days now when I'm in a better mood. Kind of take negative experiences and turn them into something more positive that I can be proud of and something that is good. Without music, I'm not sure that I'd even still be in school right now. If you just, if you look at where the young people come from and where they are now, it can be so, like the outcomes could have been so different without it. In a lot of cases, we're the only people that they engage in, the only organisation. So I don't think it's so much as an event or a project, but I think for me, so there's a young person who I've been very close with since I've started here. And obviously it has grown, and now she's due a baby soon. And our relationship is just so close. We're so bonded. And I think for me, that's been the highlight, because when I first started here, um, there was a lot of work put into it with her. I, I'm a firm believer that it's humans, <laughs> just in the world in general, is relationship. And that's how you heal things, have a relationship, have a conversation, just be real, uh, and you get the freedom to really do that at Um Yes, there's bigger targets and yes, there's bigger goals. Uh, but they really understand that nothing's going to be accomplished without having that relationship with the young people. And that's it's great. You get the freedom to do that here. Just do something else, you know? And I think that's why heavy sound and places like heavy sound are so important because it enables kids and young people to come into a place and feel no judgment and you must do this, you must sit down and do this work. Actually, no, just relax. What would you like to do? I like the idea of being able to teleport through time. Um, I've always been interested in looking at like photo albums and different time periods and like experiencing what those kind of eras would be like. Um, so if I could time travel, that would be a really good one. I could, I'd like to just adventure a lot in other sort of time periods and live like as authentically as possible. I think for at the moment, because I'm doing, trying to get into mountain biking, I think some sort of invincibility or uh, healing qu quicker than normal, or at least just not hurting as much when I do hurt myself. So you can damage yourself and just... Yeah. You know, like, what's her name? Have you watched The Boys? I did, I watched, so yeah. The, like the Japanese woman and that who can't die. So no matter if she can get run over by a bus, she can uh, go, go into a mad fight, get her arm broken, and then it just heals. Yeah, yeah, I think something like that would be probably pretty good. It would be flying. Why? Because I'm on a bus all the time, man. You know, and it's... Uh, I can't afford to start driving, so flying... Flying would save a lot of fucking time. Oh, <laughs> pardon my French. <laughs> we'll cut that one. Cut. So I've, I've got to say fly. Because I work here and I live in Kirkcaldy, that's quite a trek. So if I could fly, yeah. it'd be great. No, no bypass. I'd love that. <laughs> uh, yeah, I would like to have the capacity, the invisibility capacity. Not because I want to spy on people, but sometimes it would just be nice to be invisible um, and be able to take myself away and not be found. Um, uh, probably flying, I think. 
flying would be a good superpower. Um, well, first of all, I would solve uh, a lot of commuting issues, yes. um, <laughs> environmental issues. Um, you know, even with a bike, it's quite expensive, a yeah. good bike. So that would solve that. Oh, it's got to be, I've got to be able to fly. So I can just go around the world and do what I want.